All right, guys, so I wanted to make a quick little video here on how to use Storybird. Um, I know a few of us are really interested in using this resource, so I wanted to give you guys a getting started video to help you see exactly what you need to click, okay? So we're going to hit sign up for free, and you're going to sign up as a regular user. Remember, as we saw in class today, it's a little difficult to sign up as a student, okay? So hit regular user, select your age, put in your username, we'll call me put in an email, I'll have to use a different email. <laughs> And then put in a password too, okay? Create account. And then you're signed in. You'll see that they have some stuff here about like earning crowns and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. Just hit next. From here, daily writing, just hit next. And here you'll see the different kind of services that Storybird offers. We're going to just use picture books today because you guys are creating a really simple children's story if you're choosing this option. Select the Create Your Own option, and then hit Create. After that, you'll see you're given some artwork. And there's lots of different choices here. Personally, I'm going to pick the one that looks like a little monster guy here. After you've clicked on the little guy, you'll see the option to hit Use This Art. From there, it'll say, use this art for a long form book, picture book, or poem. Click the one you're most interested in. We're gonna choose picture book because that one's really short. And then from here, it'll load everything for you. As you can see, there's lots of different beasties to choose from, as well as art. So it says, drag your art here, write your story here, give it a title, And then continue onwards in your story. Make sure you hit save when you're done with the pages. That'll help you out too. And if you want to add pictures, you just go to whichever one you're interested in and drag it over. You can add pages by clicking the plus button. And you can change how the, um, the book looks by kind of dragging and playing around with the, anim with the, with the uh, photo you chose. So as you can see, my monsters can be on this side, or this side, or even, I believe, up top. So you'll type your information in. And then when you're ready, you'll just hit save and exit, okay? It'll say you're not quite finished. You're just gonna publish your story privately, and you're gonna hit publish. And from there, you've got the link to your story. You can hit this button, hit share link, and then you'll have it all set for class tomorrow, okay? So guys, that's just a brief little tutorial on how to use Storybird. This is a really great option for our mythological beastie if you want to tell a story about your beast. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Thanks for watching.